Today, one of the biggest challenges is that attention spans are so dispersed. Some people like to hang out on Facebook. Some people are going to read everything on their cell phone. Other people are still enjoying reading their books in paper. Some folks are Twitter all the time. Some folks are texting. And the question, the big challenge for, for a writer is, how do you reach all of them? Because uh, some of your readers are going to be doing a little of everything. So part of the challenge is, how can you get your work everywhere? And everywhere is kind of big. The great thing is that there are tools that, that, that help us to do that. I mean, you know, some really good basics is I would have a Facebook fan page. That's a public page separate from your personal page. It's a place where a lot of folks hang out on Facebook. It's a, way, it's a place where folks can, can stumble upon you, where friends can recommend you and link to you, and you can kind of update people with activities that you're doing. Um, Twitter, I don't know, anybody here tweet? Any, any Twitterers here? Um, I was a great Twitter skeptic when, when I first started hearing about it. I couldn't get it. I didn't understand. And once I started using it, I found it's a great tool for connecting with people. If you use it as a tool for connecting with people. So one of the challenges I think we have is that, that it can't just be a broadcast medium. It has to be an exchange medium. That's the way Twitter works. So part of our task becomes not just how can I broadcast to the world, hey, got a book, got a book, come read it, come read it. It's how can I connect with you and let's have an exchange and build audience that way. Um, and, um, you know, back in the day in 2007, I might have said, hey, start a blog. Today, mm, not so much. Blogging is a huge investment of time and energy. The other thing that I would say is that to the degree that it's possible to get your work out in as many formats as you can, print is only one platform, and that's what some people are going to want. Um, a company like Smashwords is a place where you can you upload your, your manuscript in their format, they churn it out in a whole lot of different ways, formats that are going to be accessible to a whole lot of different people based on their preferences. So more formats, getting the podcast out and making that available for folks who want to listen to it on their drive to work. Um, so those are a couple of things that I would say it's getting, you know, getting out there to as many people and getting your work available in as many formats are two big principles that I would work on. Uh, one of the things the Future Publishing Think Tank did a couple of years ago is we conducted a, a reader survey. And we were not scientific about it, but we were, you know, reasonably um, widespread about it. And, and one of the things we found is that a huge way that people discover books is because their friends recommend them. But as writers, we don't feel free to say, hey, people. You read my book, you like my book, tell 10 other people. Put it on your Facebook page, put, you know, however you would do that. Um, send an email about it. So that, uh, in, invite 10, 10 people that I don't know over to your house and I'll come read to them. So that you're kind of using your circle to grow your circle to grow your circle. Um, because, Unless you have a huge budget, it's really hard to market in a very large way because it's so hard to capture people's attention. I mean, even a TV ad, as much as that as that, as that costs, uh, it comes, it goes, people may register, they may not. So in terms of really influencing behavior, that kind of personal networking um, and expanding the circle is something that I recommend to people. Terry, one of the things you told me when we were having conversations about this was you said that that the industry is, or the sort of the, um, where this is going is much more reader centered. Um, and that you can't just have the idea that, you know, this, your, your work, this is my genius and it's going to find its audience. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Um, yes. Uh, I think that there's been um, an attitude, and, and I've, I've had it, that 
I'm the artist, I have my artistic vision, I'm going to put it into print, and, you know, those of you who are lucky enough to understand it, you know, whatever bullshit we run. Uh, and, and I think, I think that part of the change that we're undergoing is the way people regard themselves in terms of being audience. There are so many people. I mean, I one of the places I teach is an MFA program. They are churning out writers. I mean, and, and it's one of hundreds of MFA pro, MFA writing programs in the country. People want to do it. They don't want to just observe what other people have done any longer. And so, rather than there being a few anointed geniuses who are generating all the content and everybody else who's receiving the content, it's, it's even more democratized, it's even more expanded. And, and people, people want to be engaged in the activity themselves, whether they're writing a blog, whether they're self-publishing their own books, whether they're writing songs, you know, more and more people are engaged. And this is not just literature, this is throughout the arts. I'm engaged in this conversation um, within the larger arts community. And everybody's model is having to shift because people just don't, they don't want to just come and sit in a theater any longer and be passive. They don't want to, they don't want to be passive recipients. So how as writers do we engage people in a conversation or engage people in a dialogue and not just feel like I'm going to bestow my wisdom or my um, artistry upon <laughs> upon you, uh, which I think has been the model. And again, not only in literature, but but across the arts. And it isn't that I have the exact answer about that, but I know that it can be the way that it's been. And so I'm asking myself. What do I need to do in terms of form? What do I need to do in terms of content? What do I need to do in terms of platform that is going to allow people to enter into the process and feel included in some way? Um, and I think that there's, there's a lot of potential there in exploration. And I think it's going to change the form of what we do um, in, in doing that. Um, and I hope Brian will talk a little more about uh, your, street, your Streetwise project because it seems like you're taking on, uh, taking a lot of those things on in the construction of that project.